Hi everyone, welcome back to another Learn to Crochet video here at the Lake Villa District Library. I'm Miss Jackie and in today's video we're going to learn how to crochet these cute mini crochet valentine hearts. So if you signed up from, for the program, you're going to have your kit. I'm going to show you what's inside. But also if you didn't sign up for the program, please feel free to crochet along with us. Okay, so in your bag, you're going to get a crochet hook. This is a four millimeter. It's a little bit smaller than the crochet hooks we've used in the past, but I think you guys are ready for a smaller size. You're going to get two skeins of yarn, one in a valentine color, it could be red or pink, and just another color if you want to just crochet some different color hearts. And then you're also going to get a little plastic darning needle. And this is going to help you weave in the ends of your work when you're done. Okay, so let's get started. This is a pretty simple project, but it's really fun to do. So let's get started with our project. Okay, so let's get started with our mini crochet heart. So you're going to take the wrapper off your skein of yarn and find the end. And then let's tie a slip knot. So we're going to put a loop on our desk like that. And then you're going to pinch the end of it. Put your fingers through the loop and pinch the end that's attached to the skein of yarn. And then pull it off your fingers. And this creates your slip stitch. Now let's put this on our crochet hook. And we're going to start off by chaining four. So here we go. One two, three, four, and you don't want them too tight or too loose. And we're going to turn this chain into a circle by slip stitching in the first chain. So we're going to go into the first chain, wrap the yarn around your hook, and pull up a loop. And then you're just going to pull the same loop through the loop on your hook. And here's our little circle. It can be difficult to see at first, but once we start crocheting in here, it's going to be very apparent where the hole is. Okay, our next step is to chain four again. Here we go. One, two, three, four. And then we are going to do four double crochets inside our circle. So we've got to make sure we're finding the right place to go into. So here we go. And remember, a double crochet is you wrap the yarn over your hook so you have two loops on your hook. And then we're going to go inside the chain circle. You can just kind of pull your work to see where that is. There we go. Pull up a loop. And now we have three loops on our hook. You're going to wrap the yarn around your hook, pull it through two, do the same thing, wrap around and pull it through the last two loops on your hook. And that's a double crochet. Now it's really easy to see where the circle is, where the middle of your chain circle. So let's do three more double crochets. So yarn over. We're going to go inside the circle. Pull up a loop. Now we have three loops on our, our hook yarn over and pull it through two, yarn over, pull it through the last two. Okay, two more double crochets. Here we go. I'll go a little bit faster this time. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull it through two, yarn over, pull it through two. And here's our chain four and one, two, three, four double crochets. Okay, now the next step is a triple crochet and it's not that much more difficult than a double crochet. The only difference is you're going to put one, two more loops on your hook. So you're going to have a total of one, two, three. You're going to go into the same chain circle, pull up a loop, and now you have four loops on your hook. 
So we're going to yarn over, pull it through two, yarn over, pull it through two more, yarn over, pull it through the last two, and that's a triple crochet. So let's do one more of those. Yarn over so you have three loops on your hook, go into the chain circle and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull it through two, yarn over, pull it through two, yarn over, pull it through the last two. Very easy, right? And you can always pull these stitches over so that you have more room to crochet. This is just going to be half of our heart. Okay, so the next step is to do another chain four. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to slip stitch in the same chain. So here we go, sorry. Go into the loop, pull up a loop, then you're going to pull this loop right through the loop on your hook. So that's your slip stitch. And there's half of our heart. Okay, next step is another chain four. One, two, three, four. We're going to do it all again, but backwards. So we're going to start with our two triple crochets. So yarn over twice so that you have three loops on your hook. Go in the same circle and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull it through two. Yarn over, pull it through two. Yarn over, pull it through the last two. Let's do that one more time. Three loops on your hook inside the circle and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull it through two. Yarn over, pull it through two. Yarn over and pull it through two. Let's get a little more yarn here. Okay, now we're going to do our four triple crochets and I'm just gonna pull these stitches over so I have room, a little bit of room to crochet right there. And if you remember, a double crochet is yarn over, so you have two loops on your hook. Go into the same circle, pull up a loop. Now I have three. Yarn over, pull it through two. Yarn over, pull it through two. So let's do three more double crochets. Here we go. One. Two. And three for a total of four double crochets. You can kind of see your heart taking shape. Okay, so we are going to slip stitch in the top of our very first chain four, and you can see it right here. So one, two, three, four. There's our fourth chain. One, two, three, four, and we're going to go into that chain pull up a loop and then just pull this loop right on through the chain or the loop on our hook. And there is the tail of our heart. Now we're going to cut this off. Leave yourself a little bit of room to weave it in. So let's cut that off. And then we're going to pull it right on through and give it a little tug. So here is our heart. And as you can see, it has quite a hole in the middle there. When you get better at crocheting, you can learn what's called a magic circle so that you can make this hole completely disappear. But what we're going to do is we're going to tug this end a little bit to close the hole. This will help it a little bit so it won't be so big. Just give it a little tug. That made it a little bit smaller. And now we're going to weave in our ends. So pull out your plastic darning needle. And to thread this darning needle, you're going to wrap your tail around the darning needle and pull it really tight and then pinch it with your two fingers and pull the needle out. This just helps you thread it easily. Then you're going to push the yarn through the eye of the needle. And then we're going to start weaving in this end. And you don't have to weave in the whole length of this tail, just a little bit. 
And we're doing this just so it won't unravel on you. Oops. There. And then we can trim that off. Okay, now let's weave in our last tail. Oops, get rid of that. So put your yarn over the darning needle and pull it really tight. Pinch the end and then push the yarn through the eye. There we go. And let's weave this one in. And if you weren't, if you don't have a darning needle, you could certainly use your crochet hook to do this. But the darning needle just makes it a little more easy. Okay, let's take off our darning needle and trim the end. And there we go. There's our cute little heart. And this skein of yarn will make up a bunch of these hearts. Um, you'll, you'll also have another skein of yarn in your kit so you can make up different colors of hearts. So I hope you had fun with this project and I hope you have fun creating your little mini crochet hearts. Take care. Bye.